In broadcasting, a flagship is the broadcast station which originates a television network or a particular radio or television program that plays a key role in the branding of and consumer loyalty to a network or station. This includes both direct network feeds and broadcast syndication, but generally not backhauls. Not all networks or shows have a flagship station, as some originate from a dedicated radio or television studio. The term derives from the naval custom where the commanding officer of a group of naval ships would fly a distinguishing flag. In common parlance, flagship is now used to mean the most important or leading member of a group, hence its various uses in broadcasting. The term flagship station is primarily used in TV and radio in the United States and Canada, while the term key station is primarily used in TV in Japan. Lottery shows networks events a flagship radio station is the principal station from which a radio network's programs are fed to affiliates. In the United States, traditional radio networks currently operate without flagship stations as defined in this article. Network operations and those of the local owned and operated or affiliated stations in the same city are now separate and may come under different corporate entities. In the U.S., CBS News Radio produces programming for distribution by Skyview Networks, but local stations WCBS and Winds in New York City and KNX in Los Angeles are operated separately from the network radio news operation. Under a separate company with common shareholders, Entercom. iHeartMedia follows a similar model. Flagship stations War slash New York City and KFI slash Los Angeles are both operated mostly separately from its syndication wing. Premier Networks. WWRL in New York City was an affiliate of the now-defunct Air America Radio and carries some of its programs but is separately owned and operated and does not produce any programs for the network. Originally, Air America Radio leased WLIB as its flagship station. The station was completely automated and produced no local programming. The network would later lease WIZA in Washington, D.C. as its lone self-operated station. Fox Sports Radio's flagship station is Click in Los Angeles, with which it merged operations in 2009. SB Nation Radio is flagshipped at Co in Houston. One of its predecessors, Sporting News Radio, was previously flagshipped at WIDB in Chicago. CBS Sports Radio is nominally flagshipped at FAN. ESPN Radio has no true flagship station, as it operates out of ESPN headquarters in Bristol, Connecticut. Windsor Locks licensed WUX serves as its de facto flagship, serving ESPN's home market of Hartford. Nash FM, a country music network, is nominally flagshipped at WKDF in Nashville, Tennessee. Its classic-leaning counterpart Nash Icon is flagshipped at WSM FM in the same city. MeTV FM, a classic oldie-slash-soft rock network, is flagshipped at WRMELD in Chicago, the home base of its owner, television broadcaster Vigil Broadcasting. The satellite music network networks were flagshipped at a cluster of stations in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex during their existence. Quio, for example, served as the flagship for unforgettable favorites. Cloudcast is flagshipped at Xoy in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with much of its programming voice tracked from WGWE in Little Valley, New York. Former flagship stations for now defunct networks in American radio's Big Four era of the 1940s 1980s were, in Canada, current CBC slash Radio Canada flagships are CBLA FM in Toronto, which broadcasts in English, and CBF FM in Montreal, which broadcasts in French. Both are former AM Clear Channel operations which have moved to FM. Former flagship stations for now defunct networks were, while CJBC remains on air on its original frequency. It is now an owned and operated station of the French language Radio Canada network. The CKO network's Toronto frequency was reissued to CBL but the namesake CKO flagship in Montreal is silent. The frequency remains vacant. For syndicated radio programs, it refers to the originating station from which a program is fed by satellite or other means to stations nationwide, although the show may also originate elsewhere or from a home studio via an ISDN line. Some programs such as IMUS in the morning are simulcast on television. Others are simulcasted on XM satellite radio and, or Sirius satellite radio. Flagship stations of prominent syndicated radio programs currently include, examples in sports broadcasting, the flagship radio station. Is the sports team's primary station in the team's home market that produces game broadcasts and feeds them to affiliates. For example, WJZ-FM is the radio flagship station of the Baltimore Orioles baseball team, which feeds Orioles games to 20 stations in Maryland and adjacent states. 
A flagship television station is the principal privately owned television station of a television network in the United States, Canada, Brazil, Japan, Mexico, Australia and the Philippines. In the late 1920s, network-owned and operated stations for radio in New York City began producing live entertainment and news programs, fed by telephone lines to affiliates. These eventually were dubbed flagship stations. Entrance to Comcast Building, New York City, home of WNBC, the flagship station of NBC when television networks were formed in the United States in the late 1940s and grew during the early 1950s. Network-owned stations in New York City became the production centers for programs originating on the East Coast. Feeding affiliates of ABC, CBS, and NBC in the eastern three-fourths of the country. Stations in Los Angeles similarly started producing programs on the West Coast, feeding affiliates in the Pacific Time Zone, Alaska, and Hawaii. Consequently, the network's New York City stations became known as the East Coast flagships of their respective networks and the network's Los Angeles stations became known as the West Coast flagships. However, before the 1950s, San Francisco was also considered a West Coast flagship market for the networks, with much of the CBS and NBC networks' West Coast news programming originating from that city. This has seen the calls of CBS's KCBS being based in their original city of San Francisco instead of Los Angeles. While KNBR was formerly known as KNBC before the network moved those calls to KRCA-TV in Los Angeles in 1962. ABC, CBS and NBC are headquartered in New York City, which is the largest television market in the U.S., so their respective radio and television stations in that market are considered the overall network flagship stations. As programming schedules increased and modern technology improved transmission to affiliates, the network set up operation centers in New York City and Los Angeles. Los Angeles is the second largest television market in the U.S., and traditional home to the motion picture industry and its pool of popular talent. One of the reasons the radio network set up operations there in the 1930s and 1940s. This arrangement is reversed for the Fox Broadcasting Company. When Fox was launched in 1986, its network operation center was based in Los Angeles. However, Fox's parent company, Fox Corporation, is headquartered in New York City, along with its news division. Fox owned me in New York City is considered the network's overall flagship, while sister station KTTV in Los Angeles is considered a second flagship station. United States notes one East Coast flagships are located in the New York City designated market area, while the West Coast flagships are located in the Los Angeles area. The CW's Philadelphia and San Francisco stations are considered to be the network's de facto flagship stations since they are directly owned by its parent Viacom CBS despite the presence of stations PIX11 in New York City and KTLA5 in Los Angeles. Both of whom are holding CW affiliations in the latter two areas under the former Tribune Media ownership. As of 2021, KTLA is currently owned by Tribune's successor Nexstar Media Group. Putix's license is owned by Nexstar's partner company Mission Broadcasting, with Nexstar operating the station under a local marketing agreement. Meanwhile, Miami stations are also listed for Univision, Telemundo and Unimos due to their operations being major production bases for those networks. The Miami area station for Ion Television is also listed due to their parent company being based out of West Palm Beach, however none of the Ion stations listed originate programming for the national Ion network. Networks designated for digital subchannels are usually flagshipped at local stations in the home cities of their corporate headquarters. MeTV, MeTV Plus, and Heroes and Icons are owned by Vigel Broadcasting in Chicago. Vigel owned Shoe carries each full network feed as a digital subchannel and Kazaa TV in Los Angeles carries MeTV. While WZME in New York City carries MeTV Plus, with KTLN TV in San Francisco carries decades in Heroes and Icons. Heartland, Retro TV and Revan are all based in Chattanooga, Tennessee, the home base of Woot LD and common owner Get After It Media. Newsnet is based in Cadillac, Michigan. 2. While the Virginia-based public broadcasting service in the United States does not have an official flagship television station, WNET in the New York City area held an official primary role with PBS predecessor, National Educational Television. There cannot be any owned and operated stations within the public broadcasting service, Individual PBS stations are typically owned by local non-profit groups. Universities or state-level entities as part of a state network. The system itself is owned collectively by the local PBS member stations. 
A station's importance to the system is built as much or more on the programming it produces for national distribution, a metric which places WNET as a strong third-place contender behind WGBH in Boston and WETA in Washington. DC, instead of local media market size. Sports and sports broadcasting, the flagship television station is the sports team's primary station in the team's home market that produces NFL preseason telecasts. Along with in-season surrounding programming such as team, coaches, and pre-game slash post-game shows and feeds them to affiliates. For example, WJBK in Detroit is the flagship station of the Detroit Lions television network, which feeds Detroit Lions preseason football games to six stations in Michigan. However, the sports flagship television station is rapidly becoming a thing of the past, with the growing popularity of cable and satellite exclusive regional sports networks such as Fox Sports Networks and NBC Sports Regional Networks, which hold exclusive broadcast rights to several teams in their market for Major League Baseball, the National Hockey League and the National Basketball Association. The National Football League has a different structure, as all games require over-the-air broadcast and the league and teams are generally loath to use only a local cable broadcaster to distribute preseason and team programming. An anti-siphoning policy is also used by the league in order for local stations to bid for Monday night football games for over-the-air distribution when local teams play. Most of the league's teams partner with a local station or regional network of stations, which distributes team programming and weekly analysis shows featuring a team's head coach. With those stations allowed to market as a team's official station, often tied into preseason rights. In a lesser arrangement, Major League Baseball teams often name a local broadcast station their official weather forecasting partner and allow them to market as such. Religious Canada Canadian Network flagship locations vary by language. Most English language networks' eastern flagships are located in Toronto, French language eastern flagships are located in Montreal, and West Coast flagships are located in Vancouver. CTV2, being a secondary system to the main CTV network, maintains its eastern flagship in Barrie, which is on the northwestern fringe of the Toronto market, and West Coast flagship in Victoria. Chai DT41 has always been considered the flagship station of Global in Toronto despite being a technical satellite station of Chai DT, which is licensed to Paris, Ontario. However, since July 2009, the CRTC has considered Chai DT41 the originating station of Global Ontario. The secondary French language networks TVA and Nouveau are not carried terrestrially in Western Canada, although they are usually available on pay television. Networks slash systems with only one flagship station Mexico as of 2017, Mexico's national networks hold a nationwide virtual channel, thus all of the flagship stations. Mentioned below and most of the country are on the same channel on the rest of the stations in each network with some exceptions along the American, Guatemalan and Belizean border areas. Australia Japan notes one the total number of stations is including the three stations listed in the table. Two there are 13 independent stations in Japan. Philippines note one Sunshine's main headquarters are in Davao City, but also has a fully owned broadcast building in Metro Manila, thus giving the Manila station equal flagship. Current former in the United States, the term flagship station may also be used in the broadcasting industry to refer to a station which is co-located with the headquarters of its station group and considered the company's most important station. For example, with TV in Detroit, affiliated with NBC, is the flagship station of Graham Media Group, and WGN-TV in Chicago was the flagship station of Tribune Broadcasting until it was purchased by Nexstar Media Group in 2019. In essence, a flagship can be located in the market where the station's owner is headquartered, or in the largest market where that owner operates. For example, WSB-TV in Atlanta is the flagship of Cox Media Group, because Cox's headquarters is located in a suburb of that city. However, Cox owns WFXT in Boston, which is larger than Atlanta. The same can be said for Tegna who lists three of its properties as its flagship stations. But also owns Vine in Dallas, which is larger than Atlanta, Washington D.C. and Denver in terms of media market. Likewise, prior to merging with Gannett in 2013, FUS served as the flagship station for Bellow, as its headquarters were located in Dallas. The same also can be said for Nexstar listed two of the stations as flagships, one cited was YUTV in Scranton, which Perry Sook said. It was the flagship, the other listed was CAF TV in Dallas, which became its flagship after its acquisition of Tribune Media in 2019. 
The latter partially is located in a suburb of that city and also owns and operates several stations larger than Dallas, such as Pix TV in New York, KTLA in Los Angeles, WGN TV in Chicago, and WPHL TV in Philadelphia. Shortly after its acquisition of Young Broadcasting by Media General in 2013, Rick TV in Richmond became one of the two flagship stations of the Media General Group prior to the 2017 acquisition by Nexstar. The other flagship was WFLA in Tampa Bay, which was always the television flagship of the group. The same can even be said for Scripps, which listed WCPO TV in Cincinnati as the flagship, but also owned Ion Media, which is several times larger than Cincinnati themselves. Even the same can be said for Sinclair Broadcast Group, which listed WBFF TV in Baltimore and WJLA TV in Washington, D.C., listed as the flagship stations of the group. The term is also used for stations that operate satellite stations in other cities. For example, KSNW in Wichita, Kansas is the flagship station of the Kansas State Network, a chain of NBC affiliates serving western and central Kansas as well as border areas of Nebraska. Thanks for watching.